What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ryan Beach and I am the principal trumpet with the Alabama Symphony Orchestra and I also host a podcast called That's Not Spit, It's Condensation. I'm partnering up with Houghton Horns to bring you this video that's going to compare a Bach 239 Sterling Silver Bell C trumpet, a Shires 401 C trumpet, and a Yamaha New York Gen 3 C trumpet. In general, when I'm testing or I'm comparing instruments against each other, I like to play music that's going to display different aspects of each instrument that I'm playing. For this video, I'm going to compare these horns using these different categories. The sound or tone and the flexibility or ease of playing, the articulation or response, the upper and the lower register, and the dynamic range or how the instrument responds in loud and soft dynamics. To test the sound and flexibility categories, I'll be playing the first lyric section from Joseph Turin's Caprice. For articulation, I'll be playing the A section from Goldman A2 number one. For the upper and lower register tests, I'll be playing the first half of the trumpet solo of Summon the Heroes and then the first part of the Snedecor Low A2 number four. Finally, to test the dynamic range, I'll play a part of the A section from Goldman A2 number 15, and then I'll play about half of the opening trumpet solo from Mahler's Fifth Symphony. In each of these short tests, I'm going to let you listen to the sound of the instrument for a little while, and then I'm going to reveal which instrument you're listening to. Once I'm finished with those examples, we're gonna move on to a mystery round in which I will play a longer section of an etude for you to listen to, but I'm not gonna reveal which instrument you will listen to at any point. Hopefully as you listen to the earlier examples, you'll be able to pick up on a few different characteristics of each of the instruments so that you might be more successful when trying to identify the mystery excerpt. Before we start, if you find this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting Houghton Horns and I by liking this video and subscribing to their YouTube channel. Finally, make sure to leave a comment down below on what you think the mystery excerpts are or let us know which instruments you liked best on which excerpts. To get started, let's go ahead and listen to the sound and to the ease of production of each instrument by listening to this lyrical section from Joseph Turin's Caprice. Next, let's turn our focus to the response and the articulation by listening to this section from Goldman Etude Number 1.
Continuing on in our comparison, let's check out how the upper register of each of these horns responds to the trumpet solo from Summon the Heroes. Next, let's turn our attention to the low register sound of each instrument by checking out the fourth etude from Phil Snedekor's Low Etudes for Trumpet. Apparently this book was written for tuba players as well, but I'm pretty sure they stole it. To check out the dynamic range, let's start with listening to a section of Goldman Etude number 15, which is going to help us hear how the instruments respond in the soft dynamics. To conclude the short category test, we're going to listen to a part of the opening trumpet solo from Mahler's Fifth Symphony to hear what happens when we give it a little gas.
Now that we've finished the individual category tests, let's move on to the mystery excerpt round. The mystery excerpt for this video is going to be the opening section from Charlier Etude number eight. It's about 45 seconds long and has plenty of opportunities to showcase all of these different skill categories working together. As a reminder, I am not going to be revealing which instrument is which. So you're gonna have to make your best guess and let us know down in the comments below. All right, everyone, that's gonna be all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed listening to these three fantastic instruments being played one after another. Personally, I think any of these instruments could work very well in all sorts of different musical contexts. I think the differences I felt really came in in different individual categories. So maybe the loud playing for one felt a little bit better than a different one, but the response on that one felt better than the other. It just came down to these particular categories. I've been doing a lot of instrument testing recently Recently, and basically what I think I've found is you really have to know what you value or what sound you're trying to go for so that you can figure out which one of these categories and these horns are gonna help you get the sound that you want easiest and then you go with that one. I've done some other comparisons and review videos on Houghton Horns channel so if you have not seen those make sure to check those out. Also be sure to let us know if there are certain horns that you want to see me compare or other horns that you would like me to review. Thanks so much for watching the video and we will see you next time.